Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Islands. We just finished the second island. It's time to go on to the third. We, uh, we fought an interesting boss. Oh, those guys were still in the sky just waiting for me, huh? Jerks. Next island! What do you got for me? We can go to Golden Forest or Golden Forest. I don't know what the red means. So let's go to a red one this time. I'm feeling a little confident. I'm feeling a little good about this. I think we got this. There is nothing that we can't accomplish. We are the Hollow Knight. Hope you guys enjoy this series, by the way. The Golden Isles. Far out beyond the Florid Isles lies the dusty, barren remnants of the Golden Isles. So called for their shimmering golden appearance as witnessed by the few explorers who dared venture this far. These dusty, barren islands are home to the ancestors of the first gnomes from the Far East. They live a harsh life rooted in material struggles. For millennia, the gnomes of the Golden Isles toiled in obscurity, erecting no structures and keeping no written history, leaving only their bodily remains to be scattered with the winds. But all this changed one fateful day when a fisherman by the name of Horik found a long-lost relic, the charred switch. Dun dun dun! Dude, look at the flying guy! I'm gonna kill- What the ass is that? It's a big ol' skeleton man! Did he just cough at me? Alright, what the heckin' is that thing? Excuse me. I don't like what you're doing here. Don't you do it. You, you, you are very strong. Go, my seekers. Kill that thing before it fires too much at me. Close, so close, and he's dead. All that work, and you got gave me like two spirit dust. You could have done a little better than that. Look, look, I don't ask much of you, just that you uh make it worth my while. There's another one, there's another one. Oh, gee whiz, ah, oh, gee whiz, ah, oh, gee whiz, ah, oh, gee, oh, gee whiz. Okay. This is about the time I start to get nervous. There's a pyramid. You know what pyramid pyramids mean? Treasures. Let me in. There's no treasure. I am very disappointed in you, pyramid. A bee. N never would I have thought I'd like to see you here. Thank you for your patronage. Um, so, here's what we do. We don't have enough yet, man. I mean, we do have enough bitumen for uh, ship fuel. So let's go ahead and do that. Is that all it wants from me? Going here, maybe this one has treasure. This one does have treasure. Thank you. It actually scared me a little bit. I thought it was like disintegrate. Like it, I thought it exploded into a pile of acid. Um, did I just not dig into a high enough hole? No, it's just straight up empty. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, this is definitely one where I want to use the Seekers. Don't even sweat it. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? There's a lot of stuff down here. Let's go ahead and dig it up. 
some emeralds. Oh, I can't carry any more adamants, really? All right. How do I get out? Ugh. I need out. Hit. Done it. All right, what am I needing to find? Find bitumen to fuel the ship's furnace. Is that all I need? I feel like I need to do a little more here. Do I need to find the charge switch? Do I need to visit another pyramid? Like the fact that I'm feeling so ill-equipped to kill these skeleton dudes makes me feel like I should take a little bit of extra time and make sure that I can accomplish everything that I need to accomplish later on. Great. I do need to find more bitumen on this island, though. I feel like that would be very important. Very, very beneficial, even. I hear a skeleton over there shooting at me. There's another big old skeleton over there. Let's, uh, let's just go into this pyramid. Give me all your goodies. That's, that noise scares me. Is that a tower in the distance? Alright. I'm not happy with being next to this dude. And bees coming for me. Wild bolt. There is so much fire going on here. All right, cool. Ah, don't run into the purple junk. You stupid dummy. I feel like this is more powerful than my, uh, than my seeker missiles. But I could just, I could fire this forever, basically. See, I feel like the challenge of this game so far is to learn what the spells do so I can come up with a metagame. Once I come up with the metagame, the game gets easy. Am I eating these? I don't need to be eating these. I need to collect them. See, once I come up with the metagame, I can kill those dudes pretty easily. And this, this little spark thing seems to do a pre pretty decent good chunk of damage. I do need to find bitumen somewhere, though. Where is it all? Where'd this dude go? He was just here. He was just here. All right, game, I see what you're doing. You're making this stuff really scarce. Sparsely populated. Ow. Just kill it. Don't even sweat it. That actually hurt. I'm gonna take this stuff. I need your soul. Okay, go away. I don't want any part of you. Seriously, where is all the bitumen? Got some ruby shards at least. But where's all the bitumen? I want your bitumens. I don't know why I'm talking like this. But I want him. Cactus fly. I like how I can just stand on top of the cactus. Bitumen! This is my singular goal right now. 
find this junk. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Oh man. Ow. Dang it. I thought I could get close enough and grab that. Apparently I was wrong. Still don't know where they're hiding all the bitumen. What's chasing after me? Is it that dude? I don't really want any part of you. So I'm just gonna go in this direction? I don't remember where I parked my ship. I do want to get another earth spell. So I think I'm going to invest much of this into earth. Alright, I guess I'm not going up there. There's a leaf growing in the pyramid. We found a new pyramid though. Full of goodies. Not full of bitumen. But they're goodies nonetheless. I want to blow this up in a spectacular fashion. It was completely unnecessary, but I enjoyed it. God, where is all the bitumen? Like, would I just be stuck on this island? Ugh. I feel like I'm making fireworks, and I feel awesome about it. This dude needs to die. I feel like the the big dudes should drop more spirit. More spirit dust. I mean, clearly they need more spirit to power them, right? Dang it. Eat this thing. Also eat that thing. There's gotta be a bit of bitumen somewhere around here. All I need is a bit. All I need is a bit of bitumen. If it just turns out that this whole biome is just completely devoid of it, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is the way I've chosen to gather much of my, uh... Excuse me, did I see something up there? No. Much of my spirit dust. Because the enemies don't drop enough. Since the enemies don't drop enough, I have to make do. I have to use the bitumen. I don't feel like I've even used all that much. Mushrooms? No bitumen, no bitumen. There's no bitumen anywhere. You know what? Fine. I'll just I'll just go back to the ship. Freaking ghost haunting around. Just going to go back to the ship. Pretend that I found everything that I needed. Cuz clearly those skeletons don't drop it. Clearly the flying jerks don't drop it. So what else is there to do, but just leave? Yeah, I'm out of here. See you later. You can fire up my ship all you want. I ain't sticking around. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
Oh, so that means it was an optional place to go to. Well, I wasted my coal, so that's good. The Golden Isles remained home to scattered nomadic tribes for many generations. They toiled in obscurity, unaware of the battles in the Florid Isles and the Deep Root Gnomes. This all changed one fateful morning when a lone angler by the name of Horik drudged up an ancient staff of legendary origin, the Charred Switch. The staff burns with an immortal flame and bestows upon its owner terrifying pyromantic abilities. Horik was a bitter and callous gnome. He used the charred switch to organize his uh, fellow islanders under a single rule, reducing to ash all, do, all who dared oppose him. Bitterman. Gotta find Vita's tree on this island. Oh my god. Alright. I don't want to fight on that island. I can get close. He dropped some emeralds. There's no bitumen. There's no bitumen. There's no bitumen anywhere. All I need is a bit of bitumen, man. I just... I need the bitumen. Why don't you give me the bitumen, man? I'm jonesing for a hit of bitumen. Alright, big skeletons. No big deal. Did that just... Did that just explode? Eight blood cap. Delicious. Give me those. Thank you. It could be entirely possible that I'm like misunderstanding what exactly I need to do on these islands or on this biome to find bitumen. Maybe there's a special way to collect it that I'm uh, currently unaware of. Like, I keep halfway seeing, like, thinking that I see it on these trees. Alright. There are so many of them here. I'm gonna get so much essence from all this. Spirit dust, not essence. What is this, Hollow Knight? Look, I know we're the greatest Hollow Knight player of all time, but that doesn't mean everything has to be Hollow Knight. Don't step in the purple. Well, that was a successful fight, if I do say so myself. They said this place was arid, but it seems pretty temperate to me. Dude, we have 146 of that crap. Here, let's uh let's make one of these. Let's make one of these. <clears throat> let's make one of those. Well, suddenly we're down to 36. But look, swarm or bolt. Or we could level this up. Extreme rapid fire. Rapid fire. Have the time between zaps. That would be pretty good. But I want to try this other stuff first. Swarm spell. Bolt. So let's try the bolt. That takes some summoning time. And this dude is just going to follow me like this? Where I could summon these little dudes. All right, I'm gonna test these guys out. Go, my little bolt friend.
Look at that. I no longer feel ill-equipped. I still don't particularly feel like I want to fight this dude. Dude. He's wrecking my wasps. Wait, who's shooting at me? Dude, he just picks a target and explodes. I love that guy. What was that? Rye grass? Oh. It's just grass. Go my bolt. I like this thing. Got him. Look at me sneaking up on him. I kind of want to have the time between bolts on this thing. It's really not worth my time to fight those, though. It's not worth my time or my resources. Or my effort. So whatever, we'll, uh, we'll get these guys ready. That thing's charred now. And I was thinking that maybe it would turn into bitumen. No such luck. No such luck. Still have no idea where any bitumen is. Also, I'm realizing that I still haven't found the tree. And I need to find the tree. That's probably it right over there. Let's try and climb this, though. Maybe we have to climb these things to find the bitumen? These guys are strangely adorable. I love the way they fly around. I love, like, the little squeal that they make. Like, they're meowing at me. Like, like a cat. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go over to the tree. We're gonna eat that bulb. We're gonna go over to the tree. We're gonna collect essence along the way. If there's anything that I don't like about the bulb is that I have to resummon him after every time he explodes on something. That part is a little bit frustrating. Ow. Kill it. It's dead. Don't... Alright, meditate at the top of the tree. Don't mind if I do. First though, I absolutely do want to kill these dudes. At least this one. Because if he's going to if he ends up summoning something while I'm trying to climb up, that would be a very, very bad situation. I'm thinking the DPS might potentially be higher with this than with my lightning bolt. Or maybe I do the lightning bolt and I switch over for the rapid fire. Alright, emeralds. Get out of here. Oh, that, you didn't die? Alright. The problem with this is that it's going to just thrust me right back. Dang it. It's going to thrust me right back into my boat. And I'm going to be like, well, thanks for taking me back to my boat. But I still don't have the means to leave this island. I don't have the bitumen that I need. I don't have the bitumen, dude. What am I supposed to do without the bitumen? 
You gotta, you gotta throw me a bone here. Did you forget to like populate this island with bitumen? What am I supposed to do without bitumen? That was a really risky jump. I'm glad that I made it. Would I do it again? Probably not. Okay. Alright. Cut me some slack. Cut me some s Oh. Oh, we made it. <laughs> ah. Almost to the top. I'm glad it doesn't make you climb down. That would be that would be awful. All right, we made it up. Can you can you give me bitumen? Fuel ship and leave island. I would love to. That did not feel good. Alright. Bitumen, bitumen, bitumen. Bitumen, bitumen, bitumen. Bitumen, bitumen, bitumen. Bitumen, bitumen, bitumen. It doesn't exist. I'm pretty convinced of this fact by now. Summon this. Go, my swarm. Dude, wrecked. All right, I'm gonna try to climb this wall. See what we got going on. I feel like if there's no bitumen here, there's no bitumen anywhere. Climb up the wall. Oh my gosh. Well, that didn't do it. Question, how do I get down? Ghosts! How did I not die? How did I not die? I'm okay with it, but how did I not die? I feel like this is integral to my understanding. Of bitumen. No bitumen. There's no bitumen. There's no bitumen anywhere. I'm gonna die without bitumen. Eat that. Something is chasing me. All right, let's uh, let's get a bolt out. Use another one of those. I'm just gonna keep wandering around aimlessly until I find bitumen. I feel like maybe I should have made more of a concerted effort to collect some earlier. But would that have actually done me any good? That thing can't be allowed to live. Oh my god. Where is it? Where did you hide it? Is it in this is it in this pyramid? Is there like ten bitumen in here? I saw no black stuff pop out of there. Ow. Nothing. Nothing anywhere on these walls. Alright, climb. Climb.
I am becoming exasp- Ow. Exasp- Ow! What the- Not cool, dude. Seriously, where is the bitumen? Well, that's... That's a death. Well, hey, this game's really interesting. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be playing anymore. Especially since I went two full islands without being able to find anything to do with the stuff that I actually need to be able to move from island to island. And the fact that fall damage is a thing is so counterintuitive to the to the verticality of this game. However, this game will be entering early access on May 12th, if it hasn't already, depending on my upload schedule for this. But I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, keep an eye on this game. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on it. It looks really interesting. I hope that they put more roguelite elements into it rather than just permadeath. Like, it's just an adventure with permadeath right now. And that's not going to be enough to keep people coming back over and over again, if you know what I mean. But anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.